Welcome back to the University of Queensland School of Architecture introductory series to Rhino and Grasshopper. What we're going to do is to start doing a definition of points up this back facade, bearing in mind that we, in the parametric um, intention, we want to be able to chamfer off the back of the building. There's a there's a bunch of ways we could probably do that. I could quite simply complete the floor plate through here, duplicate it up and then cut a clipping plane off the back. I tried that in the, as I was sort of playing around with the design and it started coming up with all sorts of difficulties with the way that the data was going through the rest of the routine and there were a few errors. So I'm going to do it mathematically which may seem a bit cumbersome but just bear with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a series of lines on this western facade all the way up. I'm going to then define a line that will describe the chamfer through here. I'm going to resolve the intersection between those lines as a set of points and then through those points there and down the rest of the building um, will enable me to then finish off each of the floor plates in series. First things first, I'm going to, first I'll draw a line um, from, so it'll be, uh, where are we going to do it from? We'll do it from the seed points and so it'll be the northwest and then the southwest corner. So there's our line through there and we'll have to then array that up. So um, I could probably pull this series in through here but I'm, I'm going to just do a new one just to make it all the, the steps um, super clear. So we've got the step value which is the floor to floor, the number of floors, um, we're going to do a move through Z, so we'll pop that there, that'll be the geometry, that will be that through there, so there's our our western um, facade alignments, the, the starting point anyway. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this point up to one of the floors through here. Now I might just for clarity I'm going to turn that off. I'll turn that off and I'll turn where are we? That's not it. This is it here. I'll turn those points off just so we don't get a lot of interference. Okay so I'm going to get this point and I'm going to move it up to the height of where we want the chamfer to start or to end, depends on your perspective. So from a point here the line is just going to start cutting back into that um, plane through there. So in fact I'm going to have to set up a, a new slider and let's call this um, let's call this the width of chamfer chamfer and I'm going to get another number slider um, and I'm going to do uh, floor level chamfer start and I'll change that so we can't exceed the number of floors just for now. Okay, so I'll just pull this back to, let's say, to 16. That'll be fine. So what I'm going to have to do is move this corner up. So I'm going to uh, do a multiplication because the distance I'm going to move it up will be the distance of the floor and floor to floor. Where are we? Floor to floor. Okay. So we'll do a move and that will be a Z value through there and through there. A translation vector and we're moving the southwest corner which will be this one through here. 
Okay, so that's going to, to start us, that'll be the start of our chamfer. We want to do a, another point, which is up here, which will be the top of our chamfer, and we're going to sort of then connect a line between those. We'll have to do a multiplication and a Z value and a move. So that's the translation vector, the Z value. Um, it will be the number of floors multiplied by the floor to floor. And the geometry we're moving again is the southwest corner. And we notice there we've got an overrun because of the numbers through there. So we're going to just have to put in a, a reducer through there. So I'll put a panel, put a number one in there. Okay, whoops, just shrink that down. Whoops, I just want this to connect into there. Uh, so, where are we? The number of floors will go to there, and then this will so this will go into there. And so, there we are, popped in there. So, we've got the start of the point, we've got another point through there. And what we can do is then define the degree of the chamfer by how far we move that line through there. So that's a pretty easy uh, manoeuvre. We just have to go move. And we're going in an x, a minus x direction. So we'll get a, a, neg oops, a negative x. So we'll uh, pop that to there, that to there. And the distance is what we've set here, the width of the chamfer, which will go into there. And the geometry we want to move is that one there, which we pop into there. So you can see what we'll do is just we'll draw that line so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to do. So we just want a normal line between two points. So um, that's the endpoint there, and the other endpoint is there. So as we, whoops, we slide this, you can see that's defining the chamfer through there. Now, because each of these um, is being solved geometrically, we need to actually define the intersection of these curves to get all of the points for that. So to do that, what we'll do is um, uh, get a intersection of curves. Um, we'll go curve uh, intersection, uh, curve on curve, curve on curve. Now that's can that will be up into the intersection, physical, curve on curve through there. So don't forget, remember, that's all of our facade curves on there. So that's the first uh, part of the equation. Then the second part of the equation is that line we've drawn. And now we've resolved all of those uh, different intersections through there. Now, what we'll do is, there's probably a number of ways we can arrange this data stream. And again, I've, I've tested a, um, a bunch of ways to do this. And, and the way I'm going to do it is, is by a bit of trial and error. So it may not seem immediately logical, but I'm going to put a series. And we are going to move the, the number, which will be based on the floor to floor which is the step value floor to floor. So that's the step value. The count will be to where we start the chamfer. Uh, we here. Okay. We've got a, a Z value for the move through there. We've got a move. So that's there, that's there. And actually what we're moving then again is this southwest point and just duplicating it up to there. So that is the southwest corner through here. We pop that into there. And so you can see we've got a series of points there and a series of points there. And what we want to do is actually we just want to bring that list and that list together. And we can do that through the sets. 
through here and if we go into here set union so if you see through here we've got a series of values to 15 and then we've got a series of of empty values which then picks up 16 so really what we want to do was populate this set into here and join it to this one through there and so if we join these sets together what we should have if we go actually what we're going to do is because we've got a complex list here so that they're matched I'm going to um, going to flatten this and we'll see what we get in the end so we should have if the planets have aligned a series of combined points which will be all of those points in through there voila and what I will then do is just simply duplicate these points across the width of the building so that again will be a move we're going to go the y value through there you know y and the distance we're going to go is the length of the building so that's through oops through here so i'm kind of using my scroll wheel to scroll in and out save me a bit of time with oops we're getting and then we'll duplicate that across there so we're getting closer now so what we've got is if we just um, close is if we turn off this line here um, we turn off this line through here this line through here and we'll turn off this and this and basically you can see we're starting to get a set of uh, points that we're going to connect up to make our floor plate and these points will then start to move parametrically according to our our design intention so in the next video we're going to finish this um, bit off with the floor plates and then we'll move on to the next stages of the design after that